Hello everyone, I'm Amanda and this video is going to be all about the Oxford Physics Aptitude Test, how to prepare and some tips and tricks that I picked up whilst going through the process. Before that though, let me tell you a bit about myself. I'm in my final year of A-level studying physics, maths, further maths and chemistry and last year I applied to Oxford University to study physics and took the 2019 Physics Aptitude Test. This video is going to be the first in a series of videos about university applications, so stick around if you're interested. So firstly, what is the Physics Aptitude Test? The Physics Aptitude Test is an entrance exam set by the University of Oxford for all pupils applying for physics, material science, engineering or any combination of those subjects. So how would you prepare for the Physics Aptitude Test? Well, there are many things you can be doing. Firstly, check the syllabus on Oxford's website. I'll put all the links in the description box so you can easily find them. Most of the topics on the syllabus are AS level maths and physics. However, if there's a topic on there that you're not familiar with, I strongly suggest that you be proactive and have a look at the topic just so you're familiar with everything on the paper. Secondly, once you have read, learned and revised all the content of the topics on the syllabus, I suggest you try your hand at a couple of past papers and do them under timed conditions and in exam conditions. This will let you know how well you're doing and what sort of progress you're making as you learn more and more about the physics aptitude test. To mark your work and give you an indication of how well you're performing, use the unofficial mark schemes that are available on Physics and Maths Tutor. Whilst these aren't from Oxford University themselves, they give you really clear work solutions and answers on how to approach and tackle these sorts of questions, which will let you know the kind of thought processes and thinking that you'll need to be able to do well on the physics aptitude test. Finally, the aim of the papers is not to test what you know or how much information you can retain. It's to test how you think and how you approach and tackle problems. So if you've tried your hand at a couple of physics aptitude test papers and want to improve further, I suggest using some questions from the British Physics Olympiad. These are similar styles of questions that ask you about familiar physics topics from unfamiliar angles and new ways of approaching them. Also, you can try some of the questions in Professor Povey's prepa That's really difficult to say. In Professor Povey's Perplexing Problems. This book contains puzzles and problems from all sorts of physics and maths topics so it's just an example of what it looks like. It promotes lateral thinking and getting you to tackle problems in a different way and think about things outside of the box which is exactly the sort of thing you'll need for the physics aptitude test so I really recommend it. And finally my own tips and tricks from how I personally prepared for the physics aptitude test. Oxford provides reports after each cohort of student that sits the physics aptitude test and goes through the admissions process. This gives you info on the mean mark, on the maximum mark, and crucially, the mark that was required for students to have been offered an interview in that year. So after every paper, I suggest you mark it and then have a look at this report and see whether or not you'd have been given an interview. This is really helpful in gauging how you're performing. Also, make sure you're using the correct calculator. The Casio class Wiz is not allowed, but the one that you used at GCSE is allowed. So make sure you're checking the specifications of calculator that you can use. There is also no formula sheet for the physics aptitude test. So you're gonna have to remember any and all equations that you may have to use. Um, if they're gonna ask you equations that you're not likely to have learned, they'll put it in the question for you. So don't panic about that, but make sure you know things like SUVAT, Snell's law, that sort of stuff. So anything you've learned in your AS levels, commit that to memory. At first, it's likely you'll find the papers to be really difficult. It's supposed to be difficult. It's very rare that somebody gets full marks on this paper. So it's not a test that you're going to ace every time. It's more important that you practice how to problem solve and how to approach these problems from a completely new angle, because these questions are not just recall information, like some A-level questions. But these questions are, look at the information, process it, and think how you could potentially tackle this problem using all of the mathematics that you can employ. But don't be discouraged and keep at it because I promise you, if you keep working, you will be able to get there and get that interview and show them exactly what you can do. Best of luck to everybody who is applying or thinking of applying. Um, I'll be uploading more videos on university applications soon, so stick around and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.